So we had leaks and rumors about the Windows 12, but sadly, the Windows 12 isn't coming, at least this year. But what is coming is the next Windows 11 update called Windows 11 24 H2, which is going to be a huge update for Windows 11. And it is probably going to release later this year in October or November. So in this video, I wanna show you guys everything new in Windows 11 24 H2 so far. So the first biggest feature or biggest change is the new installation experience. With Windows 11 24 H2, the way you install Windows 11 is going to change uh, when you do a clean install or something like that. And this is how it's going to look. This is a, one of the biggest change after a decade. We had same installation experience since like almost uh, Windows XP or Vista, but it is changing with the Windows 11 24H2. Next big change is the new system requirements. Yes, there are new system requirements, but you don't have to worry about it. If you have a really old CPU that was made before uh, 2010 or something, you won't be able to run Windows 11 24H2. It just won't boot. There is this thing called population count instructions and you need SSE 4.1 or SSE 4.2. If you don't have these, you won't be able to run Windows 11 24H2. And guess what? I have actually made a dedicated video on just this new system requirements. So you should watch that video for more information. Next is AI feature in Notepad. Yeah, um, Notepad got many new features actually, starting from the Windows uh, 11. Like it has tabs, it looks cool, it has dark theme and everything. It, it is getting the updates. Now it has the AI option. Let's say you write something in here uh, and right click. There is this new option called explain with copilot. So basically, if you do that, uh, it will open the copilot and copilot will explain uh, whatever you had in the notepad. You can do a lot more things with this new AI feature in notepad, like summarize if it's a huge document, rewrite the document in different way and all that. So really cool feature. Next, Copilot is moving to a different place, to the far right side. Before this, it was in the pinned apps section in taskbar, but now it's moving to far right side where you have clocks and everything. So it's easier to access now. Plus it is getting more powerful. If we check the recent update of Windows 11 24 H2's uh, dev builds, uh, you can see Copilot can do more things. Ask for available wireless networks, ask for battery information. So yeah, with the Windows 11 24 H2, Copilot is going to get deeply integrated to the system and it will be able to do a lot more things for you. And one more thing, some of the features are actually coming sooner than Windows 11 24H2 update. There is a new upcoming feature within a week or two, uh, which is called Moment 5 update for Windows 11. And that update is actually going to have this new update for Copilot, where the Copilot will change its position to the far right side in taskbar. And there will be a couple of other features which is also going to get released before Windows 11 24H2. Next update is the better snap layouts or snap suggestions. And this update is also going to get released before the Windows 11 24H2 in Windows 11 Moment 5 update. So basically now what's going to happen is uh, when you uh, hover your mouse here at the middle button, it will give you snapping suggestions like how you want to snap the windows automatically. All right. So let's say I'm going to click on this first option and you can see we have uh, the store and the file explorer side by side. The more open apps you have, more suggestions you'll get. So that's how it works and it's pretty cool to quickly snap the windows. I like this feature. Next one is the new sudo command in Windows. If you're a Linux user, you know what sudo is. It basically gives you the super user uh, privileges. In Windows, we have to right click on the program and have to click on run as administrator. So if we enable this, we can now do a sudo command in Windows just like 
in Linux. And this is mainly for developers to get the super user access easily. Next one is huge, huge update actually. Finally, with Windows 11 24H2, you'll be able to compress files. So as you know, recently Windows 11 got a feature that lets you unzip or unrar files, but you couldn't do a compression, like compress to 7z or tar file, but now with the Windows 11 24H2, you can. And there is this additional option, which I didn't check. So it looks like 7zip is here, but there is no rar file. I think 7z will do. So, or we can go with the tar. And next feature is the new option in power options called energy saver. So basically if we enable this, it will reduce the power consumption and increase the battery life by limiting some background activities. I think this is going to be more useful for laptops because they have the batteries and stuff like that. Uh, maybe not that useful for desktop users. Next one is another huge feature. You know, nobody likes a Windows 11's right click menu, <laughs> okay? But it is getting a little bit better, all right? If you right click on any files, you can see it now has better icons with text on them. The right click menu is improved now. Uh, we, we can cut, copy, rename, share, and delete. Uh, before this, it was only like icons. A and to be honest, it was kind of confusing. Now it clearly says what you're doing. And uh, next feature, check this out. Windows control plus X. Now this is a new feature to find mouse cursor or this is a mouse cursor indicator. This will be always on if you have uh, pressed the Windows key, control and X. You can't get rid of this unless you press those buttons again. So really cool if you want this, <laughs> okay? I don't know, it looks like I'm playing a game. You can also configure this if you go to the accessibility settings and then go to mouse pointer and touch settings. Here you'll see a new option called pointer indicator. You can just simply turn this on and there we have the pointer indicator. Or you can press this combo here, Windows plus Control plus X. And I think you can also change the color of it. Yeah, <laughs> whatever color you like, you go with that. That's cool, right? I'm gonna go with the purple. I like the purple. <laughs> Next one is improved widgets. You can now finally hide uh, the news feed. If you go to the settings and click on show or hide feeds, you have to expand this option. And then here you'll see Microsoft start. You just turn that off. All right. Once you turn that off, all the news and stuff is gone. And now it is clean. Plus you can add more, you know, useful widgets here. Finally, now widget panel is actually good. <laughs> and this feature is actually coming early with the Windows 11 Moment 5 update. So you don't have to wait for the Windows 11 24H2 to get this feature. And the final feature, this feature is huge for gamers because it is a gaming related feature, which I can't actually show you, but I have a screenshot of this. And so basically if you go to the system display and graphics here, you'll have a new feature called automatic super resolution. If you turn this on, it will use AI to make supported games play more smoothly with enhanced details. I think this is going to be a huge thing for gamers and uh, yeah, a, a lot of AI thingy, but some of the AI thingy, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. So I think that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, remember some of these features are actually coming earlier than Windows 11 24H2. Plus the Windows 11 24H2 is actually still in development. So there will be many more things coming in Windows 11 24H2. So for now, these are the only features that we know and there is a lot of time for Windows 11 24H to get released. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.